Hi, this is a minute of overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I want to talk about how the app market is no place for perfectionists. Okay, so somebody asked me a few weeks ago whether or not I was doing app development full time. And the truth is I am, right? I'm making enough revenue from the apps that I could not work at all, right? which is nice. It's a nice feeling. Like, however, I have a team and I have a company and, you know, we have to keep, pay the bills and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I have higher goals than just getting by in life and not working. So, yeah, so we also do work for clients. So we have two revenue streams uh, with Overpass. We do work for clients and we do our, our own apps. And a lot of times that work for clients just really helps us finance more of our own apps so we can put some more things out there to bring in money, right? So if, if I had to choose between working for clients or working uh, on our own applications, hands down it'd be our own applications. It's, it's a much nicer to have creative control and you're much more flexible. Like if we do our own app, we could do our own app theoretically in, in just a couple of weeks, whereas doing something for a client could take months because we have all those meetings and we have to make things you know, perfect and everything like that. So uh, to give you an example, just the other day, I was you know, working on this one problem, which I doubt anybody would have noticed, but the client noticed. And, uh, and I spent like pretty much the better part of a day trying to fix this one little thing. And it was just it was such a drain on on time and energy and we really need to release that app and it was just you know and i tried to explain it why don't we release it and see how it does and and his opinion was well if it's got my name on it i want it to be perfect right so you know my opinion especially with our own apps like if you look at the apps that we produce I, I don't think any of them are perfect. I mean, they're, they're, some of them are, I mean, they're really good. I mean, we wouldn't release them if they weren't really good, but there's all of them, there's like a little thing where I think, God, I wish I could just change that. Or, you know, next release, well, let's see if we could just, uh, you know, amend that or whatever. But for me, an app that hasn't been shipped, you don't know anything about. Like I said, you, you have lots of theories about what will work and what won't, and what users will like and what they won't like and all that kind of stuff. But until you release it on the app market, you don't know anything. And the sooner you release... The sooner you get data, the sooner you can amend, the sooner you can change. So, so my message this week is that the app market is not for perfectionists. The, the perfectionist is a big loser in the app market. And you know, and if you're gonna thinking about doing your own app, you know, try to think about this. You know, go fast and light. Get the get the minimum viable product out there as soon as you can. See how it does, and then make changes later. So, so that's it for this week. I hope you liked it. I'll talk to you next week. Hey, thanks very much for watching the video. Now, if you liked it, uh, please do me a favor and just click on the like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Now, I do this video once a week, every Friday. So if you're interested in seeing more of them, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you'll see you know, it pop up in your feed once a week. And then I can tell you everything else we learn about in the future about the app market. And finally, if you could be so kind, please leave a review. Now, if you're like me, you hate to leave reviews. I never leave reviews. So I'm gonna make it easy for you. If you like the video, just re just leave the review uh, gnarly, right? Uh, 80s, right? If you hated it, say bogus. And if you didn't think anything of it, go ahead and just put eh, right? That's it. I'll talk to you next week. Thanks. Bye.